Hey everybody, uh, my name's Simone, and this is my first sketchbook tour. This sketchbook is uh, by US Art Supply. It's like 100 sheets, 9 by 12, uh, 60 pounds. It's just a plain sketchbook. Not really anything fancy. And this is my um, second newest sketchbook. I just, I finished this a while ago actually. Let's see. So, started this January 10th and ended in. July 28th, 2017. So 2017 sketchbook. Took me a while to finish this actually. I think I want to finish it earlier. Oh, here's some commentary. Um, so this is my original plan. It was the kind of be supposed to be kind of like a grueling, boring sketchbook, which I was basically just doing a lot of like uh, figure drawing, gesture drawing, and lots of like like a lot of uh, boring stuff basically. But then that didn't end up working out. And so about halfway through, it ends up getting like really kind of junky and collagey and like a lot of, lots of like paint stuff. Oh, here's it's me, kind of. So the first, like a while, there's just a lot of this like junky, like layered kind of drawing stuff. So these are just like hand practice, really quickly drawn stuff. Some more of that. And some more over here. And a lot of it's like upside down, so I might, I might just turn this upside down to show you guys. Like this is like going down. Let me get some more hands. Sorry if I'm sniffly. So then you got some more, these are some figure stuff. And these are done, a lot of these are done very quickly. So you've got these, these are like 10, 10 seconds, no not 10 seconds, maybe like 30 seconds. figure here. So a lot of times there's like this pen drawing and then there's like this crayon drawings on top of it, which is something I like to do just to like differentiate, but it doesn't really, it makes it hard to see, especially since I like to overlap a lot of stuff. These are longer poses. And let's see, going. Oh, this is some goofy stuff with some rabbits. Rabbits. I do like drawing cars and rabbits. You'll see, you'll see them, you'll see them a lot in here. Um, yeah, this is a, I think a lot of times I come back to blank pages and I like lay in some like tape, some paint and stuff. This will like build some ground. And usually I like to come back and maybe do some other drawings over it, but not always. Uh, figure drawing stuff. I think a lot, I do a lot of these on, um, lineofaction.com. It used to be pixel lovely, it changed. And they they have like these 30 second figure drawing exercises. You can build it up to like longer class times. And then these are some drawings I did of myself, or kind of myself, kind of like a monster version of myself. Oh, here's some feet. Uh, <laughs> a little, it's a little weird, but um, I did want to try drawing some feet in, so. These are all like really fast, 30 second ones. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe like a minute. A minute for some of these, 30 seconds for others. Here's some more, these are just pen. So yeah, I might, I might try and flip through these a little faster since it's not that interesting. Primates is some, a 30 minute class on primates. Oh, I'm sorry. This is like, I'm using a kind of janky stand right now. So these are like very quick three. Those are the very quick sketches to start with. Some more feet. Sorry I'm flipping so much. It's just, I realize I can't figure out a way to like set up my camera. That includes the whole thing. So I have to like have half of the book. Some more primates. I think these are still 30 second ones. know the kinds of like apes these are apes and monkeys and stuff and back to these like 30 second figures and then going on to the longer ones oh and the last of the primates I forgot about these this is um these are like the 10 minute ones these are took a long time I'm I really like this guy I think it was a little om nom nom is pretty funny or not really funny it's <laughs> Funny to me, not with anyone else. Um, okay, so there is some nudity here, but it's like very you can't really tell. Uh, so let me just get this page in. So there's this guy, and there's like this figure kind of hanging, I think. And then back to this side, this is upside down. 
Then there's these figures. And a lot of them really are just like turned around in really weird, confusing ways. Sorry about that. I just it's like how I like to work and it feels good until I'm showing it to people and I'm turning upside down like a crazy person. Oh <laughs> here's some faces. These are it was a 30 minute class on faces and it starts with these 30 second ones, which is how the lineofaction.com works. You can set up class times. So these are some very fast faces on this other side. There's the last of the figure figures for that other page. This one, this one, this one, this one. Start on this side. These are still the 30 second ones. Pretty rough. I don't draw that many faces, human faces. Yeah. And these ones here. They're upside down the last time I showed you guys. These are getting longer. They're still pretty rough. I just, it's just something you gotta work on, or I gotta work on. And let me get this other side. Here's some. Back to primates for some reason. Oh, this one says idea for comic. Uh, it's, it's rotated, but whatever. You can't really read it either way. Person starts off pink, then by drinking finger blood drains color from body, which, uh, okay, kind of gory. So there's some, like, cartoony gore here, but, um, this is the comic that I was talking about in the other comment. So it's this guy, he's eating some chips, and he's, like, eating them, and he goes back to get some more, but he bites his fingers off, which is, like, weird. And, like, it tastes like blood, or it tastes like cherries, the blood tastes like cherries. And then that's just, like, where this kind of blood, it's not really anything, it's called snack. But it's not like a whole thing. And then I ended up cutting off this comic when I redrew this. Like, I really drew this at least twice. And I ended up cutting these two panels and just going straight from here to here and then here to here. Oh, Shadow Cities. That's a game. It's kind of like Pokemon Go, actually. It, But it like it closed out like years ago. I used to play it. Uh, Primates again. I don't know why I came back to them, but here they are. Oh, some stamps. More primates. This one kind of reminds me of Yoda, even though it's like impossible to see. <laughs> Some feet. Trying feet. Oh, this was. Let me like. Uh, let me just talk while I'm looking at this. I had planned out to do like a thirty second, a bunch of thirty second drawings of like one subject, and then do a thirty minute class on another subject. So I think this one was primates and then feet for thirty minutes. So thirty minutes of feet. And then several 30 second drawings of primates. So you can see these guys. And yeah, those are those are pretty rough. There's not really a lot to see there. It's just like building up a lot of work, which is kind of my thing, I guess, building up work. Here's um more feet. I, I do like these a lot. I think I should go back and do some more of these because feet are hard to draw. And it's important when you're drawing anything to like build up a lot of like like, uh, it's like building a visual library is what they call it. When you just draw that one thing a bunch of times and you start to understand, like, how to, like, different, you have, like, an idea of drawing it, basically. It's, ah, uh, you, you'll get it if you just do it. <laughs> That's what the, the entire thing of drawing is, like, you'll understand it better when you do it. Feet. More feet. I'm going to the poo. Uh, here's another foot, and then this like paint build up. I think I was laying in tape, and then I, I used to lay in paint in other drawings or like collages and stuff, and then paint, and then peel the tape off, and then put them in here, which is how I like, kind of build this stuff up. And taking excess paint from other things and just smearing it into just like building some ground, get some texture. I have some more feet. I like this one. I like the kind of action of this foot, the bend of it. This one's really. <laughs> This one's pretty rough, but you know, that's just, that's just how hard it is, you know? Lots of rough stuff. Oh, this was an idea I had to lay in some oil pastel and then draw on the other side. So you're like, you lay in some oil pastel and you draw on this side, and then you get stuff on the other side, which is right here. And all I got was this smear, so... <laughs> didn't, yeah, I didn't end up doing anything on this page, except for this note. Sequential art, that's not necessarily a comic. Um, he was laying in some stuff. I had this whole thing in my brain about like werewolves and this guy kind of running and gradually like turning that run into a, a, a werewolf dog run. But then I realized I 
don't want to draw that much. <laughs> I got lazy. I just kind of like stopped doing it. And this is from some other collage painting type thing that I like paint in, peel off the tape, put it in somewhere else. And here's um, here's a werewolf. Rotate. More paint layered in. And this dude. I would like to come back to this sometime. I really hope the camera doesn't like get blurry or something because I, I realize I'm like moving around a lot and I feel like sometimes it'll go out of focus. It looks okay, it looks okay. Um, here's some, these are drawn straight from like a Google search of werewolves. So I think this one might be the one from Harry Potter. <laughs> it might be, might be Lupin. Um, so then there's just like some artist paint. This is kind of just like, nah. Got some more of these guys. Some more of these. Yeah, I think, I just, my sketchbooks tend to be very like, just like a lot of stuff that's kind of nothing. A lot of like practice things. And I've seen other people's sketchbooks and they tend to be, a lot of people have like very clean sketchbooks where they do a lot of like, like uh, finished work kind of things. And that's kind of not, I know that works for some people. I know people have a drive to do that, but it's not like something I can see myself doing. It, my sketchbooks are just like, they're very inexpensive. <laughs> and they tend to just kind of like be a lot of, kind of just me getting that physical energy out, that like energy, the, the work out. Some more of these guys. Oh. Gotta make sure I'm not messing anything up. Here's some hands. Here's another hand. Here's some hand. Hand. Hands are hands are hard, but I think they're they're once you get into them, they're kind of fun. I think they're very expressive. My tendency to draw hands is them they're too big on people. Some more hands, and this like uh, this is a color pencil actually, not a crayon, which is weird. I don't usually draw with color pencil. Let me get some of this knife off screen. Put that away. That's a little dude. Some faces. Can you? Oh, yeah, you can see that. It's fine. I was worried I'm gonna like point at something like this. I'm like, <laughs> what are you looking at, Simone? So this page is cut, actually. I think I, I might have just said that. And yeah, so I think my drawing teacher has actually stated that cutting is like drawing with scissors, which I am. You could agree or disagree with that. I think drawing as an idea is pretty vague. And art kind of is like a weird vague thing. Here's some kind of collaging. This is when I was trying to get into collaging type things. And this is from... Wait, when did I... <laughs> Let me check something. 2017. This looks like something from, I think a PSAT or something, or an SAT. It's a wolf. I thought it'd be good to draw wolves to get into understanding how to draw, like, werewolves. Here's some hands. Uh, I told you, there's like a lot of boring hand stuff in here. And here's the back of the cut page. Uh, this is just... I have, I have this notepad, like this neon notepad, that I just kind of like... The color kind of comes off of it when you lay like any kind of wet medium onto it. And I think that's kind of interesting. So I've like, I painted on some silver paint and then I like left it there for a little while and then I put it, placed this paper here and then tore it off. And so this is kind of like leftover, but it's not like, it didn't transfer as well as I wanted to. And this is like a stamp I kind of made. And more hands, more hands. Some kind of hard to see in there. This is like kind of heavy. To me. Oh, here's some figures. <laughs> There's some pink ones and some black ones, and you really can't see the pink ones very well. But since they're, I think some of them are rotated. This one, this one, this one is sideways. This one. I kind of see it. Mm -hmm. More hands. I do like drawing hands. I think they're nice. I cannot draw hands without reference though, which is unfortunate. But I mean, reference is important regardless. Figures, more from, they're really all from Line of Action, aren't they? Line of Action like them. Previously Pixel Lovely. This is not a plug for them. It kinda is though. I, I do like that website a lot. 
haven't used them in a while. But I mean, I've been at school, so there's that. Figures. Put some pants on him, because I think I showed my grandma this, and she was like, ah! Because <laughs> she's, she's an old lady. She's a little religious old lady. Little religious Korean lady. And she, um, kind of, uh, disturbed <laughs> by the nudity. But I mean, you know. It's whatever. I don't- it doesn't bug me. I've taken a new drawing classes and it's just like- it's just a- it's just whatever. Oh, here. This little dude. You got like a robot going on. This little tab. This is a tab. I have this character that's just like a bunch of teeth. It's like a- oh, here he is. I had made a figure of him one time. So he's this little- this little guy. See, he's got little teeth. I put my hand behind it like a YouTuber. And he's got like little arms. He runs around his little arms. His friend is, um, Edra, who is a pair of eyes. He, or he is an eye with some little... And these are the shoelaces. We made of rubber bands. Let me just... <laughs> get in there. Yeah, he's like Mike Wazowski. Put him back. Oh, did I show you his band-aid? I'm really proud of that band-aid. See, look at his little, his little band-aid on his leg. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so that's him. And then, oh, this is the picture I think I showed my grandma. And I was like, ah! Because I put, <laughs> I put these sticky notes on it to, like, obscure the... The vague nudity, but there's like nothing here, first of all. It's like, oh no, uh, nothing. There's nothing there, bro. But I mean, we're just elderly woman, I can't just show her nudity. It's like absurd. Um, giant receipt. Hopefully, you can't see that. Yeah, that, you can't see that. <laughs> That's my information. Yeah, no. Um, here's some. Oh, this is from my Star Wars stencil. I got one of those Star Wars vinyl um, stormtrooper helmets, and it comes with these stencils. And I was like, I'm so excited. So I ended up using them all over the place. Kind of just like, I just like that idea of recycling like the, these like images, especially since these have like a lot of like you know pop culture reference. Like it's got a pop culture context to the image. That's the point of like referencing stuff. This is um this is just ink. Tape, little dude. Here's here's what you guys remember that I'm yeah, I just I draw like animal people, which I guess makes me a furry, but like whatever. Here's a little animal dude. You got a little regular guy. And these are just Sharpie and like pen and stuff. And this is um this is acrylic, but this is ink. I think it's water-based ink too, I think you could... This is gesso, I just realized. Eh, this is some scrappy little doodles. This is my dog. But you can't really tell, because he's like this potato. This is his head, and then this is his butt. So he's kind of like, like a bean dog. <laughs> Sorry. I keep touching this thing. Yeah, this is my own rig. I can't show you it. But it's, uh, it's kind of whack. Okay, here's a- I had this weird comic idea, because I was like laying in bed at night thinking about this like thing about like nothing. This comic about like nothing. And oh, there's this blade there, but whatever. This is like a parking lot, there's a clock here, and another panel. And there's this, this convenience store. And this is like a panel of this little dude, the, the guy at the convenience store. And he's like reading his book instead of like- like he's the cashier, but he's like bored because it's like 2am. Or- yeah, no idea. And this is the next page. So you see this is like the guy, the cashier. These are like the rows. This is like, oh, there's like a little ding ding. <laughs> when the guy opens the door, this is his little head. And this is like panels of succession. He's just like, he gets his stuff and then he comes up to the cashier. And then, I ignore that. He like looks all fucked up. <laughs> that was the idea, it was like, it's gotta look messed up. This is like a very rough version, so it's not like, I could have done a lot more developing of this, but I didn't end up coming back to it. He's like, Looks at him. He's like, whatever. I don't care. He's like, tick, 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 clicking away. Like, is a receipt. You like, you want a bag? No. And then he like goes back to reading. And this guy walks back out of the parking lot. And then I don't think I ever went back to it. <laughs> I think I just gave up on it right there. So here's some drawings. So there's like pencil drawing. This is whatever that is. This is this. You got a little belly. You got to turn upside down to get the full experience. Oh, I think I showed my grandpa this, and he said it looks like Kennedy. And this is Kennedy, L-M-A-O. <laughs> because Kennedy. Uh, just some faces. Some guys. 
No, this is actually pretty fun. I, <laughs> I just love talking about my, my art. I don't know why. It's just it's just kind of like validating. Um, this look, it looks like the boss baby or something. Oh wait, no. This is I was watching a bunch of Disney shorts on Netflix. They had a bunch of shorts out. And some of them, it was like, one of them was like this Christmas one about these like elves. And then one of them was how about this guy who like John Henry? No, it was this guy who, who like he um was building a train track. He was like this this black guy who was <laughs> was building a train track. Okay, never mind. I can't explain it. I can't remember what I was even talking about. So this one of them was about these elves. And is that Batman? No, whatever. It's just nothing. And then there was Paper Man. And there was also this um Mickey Mouse short that was like part two D and then part oh called Get a Horse. It's called Get a Horse. And part of it was like CGI and they like popped out of the screen and they were talking to the audience. It was, it was pretty cool. It was a very cute uh, thing. Let me just... Okay. And I think this is from that, the short with the dog feast or something. Yeah. And here's, I posted this on my Instagram actually. I'll post, I'll put my Instagram in the um, description. I'm like old, old project or something. I like how crayon feels on this paper. This is kind of like 50% like diary almost. Or not really diary, but like journal. But a journal is a diary. I don't know why there's a difference. Now here's Mickey. Yeah. Lizzie Hearts. Oh, maybe this is from when I was watching Ever After High. <laughs> I, I thought I would like dislike that show, but it's actually kind of charming. I think it's, I just kind of like, um, I just like the way the characters are. Even though the like animation itself is, it's like flash animated. And it's not like, like well written, but I find it endearing and kind of cute. I think it's cute. I think it's cute and I think it's pretty. Pretty isn't. A lot of kids shows, especially shows for like girls, tend to have this like, um, this friendship thing. And I'm like, ah, oh, I love friendship. <laughs> sure, we'll say I have some friends, but um, I have, I do have friends, don't worry. This is my dude, oh, this is my guy Radborn, who, I'm changing his name because it's like a horrible name. He used to be a rabbit, but then I was like, he can't be a rabbit forever because that's lame. I think there is a drawing of him as a rabbit in like crayon, but you can't see it because it's like overlaid by like this pen drawing. So you get like some pen and you get some crayon. Yeah, his name is Bunny, which his, his nickname was always Bunny. And he's, um, he's this like dude who just like lives with his roommate and he's like depressed. <laughs> that's his characterization. Depressed man with the belly. Oh, this is him too, but he's a little thin here. I don't like it. Um, I think this is from the bleed through on this page. I like tried to make something out of it and I made this dude. I did a lot actually. I like to make stuff out of bleed. Doop. Little belly. Doop. Why am I so- I'm so turned around. I hate, this. I hate the way I draw. Actually, I like the way I draw. I just <laughs> I hate how confusing this is. Oh, here's another. This is a- this is confusing. Class started using other sketchbook more one twenty nine seventeen. It's almost even two thousand seventeen. I just realized. It's December, obviously. Yeah, but I think when I was working on this, I also started a different sketchbook. Like right at this point, I started using another sketchbook that ran like concurrently <laughs> that I was using for class, and that's why this one I stopped using as much. And let me explain this. So this is, I tore, shot it, uh, tore out a piece from this sketchbook. I folded it up and I put it in my pocket and I drew on it randomly in class. And that's why there's like this side and then there's like this other side, which I should show you guys. So then these are just more stuff from class. These are just doodles. I like to tear it out and put it on a sheet of paper so that I can like come back to it. And let me just turn the page because I just feel so confusing. This is, oh, here's more of my bunny dude. So here he is. I think the he he has like white facial hair because he as a rabbit he had he was a white rabbit with um black hands feet and like a spot on his belly that was black and then I was like I can't do that so I decided to give him white hair and brown skin and then vitiligo is that how you pronounce it I don't know on his like chest hands and feet which I think is kind of gimmicky but I I don't want to come back to it I'm not I haven't worked out the whole thing with this character I think he's cute he's a little thin here I don't I don't know how like round to make him. Oh, this is upside down. Here. And this is this is what kind of looked like as a rabbit, basically. I think it says bunny and human here. Oh, here he is leaping. I hate, I like his little round body. I think it's cute. His body type is kind of inspired by like the chipmunks though. You know Alvin the chipmunks. 
I found their model sheets. You can like find them in here. If you look up Alan Zoo's model sheet, sheets, you'll like find them. I think I like got attached to the way they looked in those model sheets. And I kind of got started using them for my character, which I don't know. I think I just like Theodore a lot. I think he's a sweetheart. Also, I do draw the Shimmong sometimes, not because I like them a lot, but because they just, they just kind of like got stuck to my brain, to my drawing habits. It's like, I always just draw the Shimmongs. I think they're charming. <laughs> Even though I only really like the um, Alvin show and none of like iterations after that. I I like the way they look in the 80s, not the actual writing of the show. I think it's bad. I just paint my thumb. So this is just the bunny again. Nope, oh, anyway. oh, look at this little face. Oh. I don't know why I did that to him. Poor dude. Oh, this is when I was <laughs> watching uh, the show on uh, Amazon, I think. It's called Cool Apari and Army of Frogs. And I think there the um there's a promo of it that's very beautifully animated. And people are like, whoa, this is really good. But the actual show is like flash animated and it's like a charming little show. I watched like a couple episodes and I was like, oh I like it. And that's how I draw drew it a little bit, but I didn't come back to it because I think I got busy with other things. Um, one more drawing of bunny. One more. This is also from Cool Apart and Army of Frogs. This is the spider lady. Or one of her spread thick. It's not <laughs> ignore that. But he's like, oh, he's such a cute little dude. I just, I, I'm holding back on the facial hair because I think sometimes it makes him look older. And I'm not sure how old I want him to be, which is like, just, that's like a basic thing. Like, how old do you want him to be in your story? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So, he's just like a dude. Um, oh, this is an idea for like a sculpture type thing. It's like a piece, it's like, um, like a piece of panel. And then like this heart I sculpted out of clay. Hold up. The heart is right here. It's um made of clay, and then you put it on like a, like a panel of wood or something, and you wrap it in Christmas paper, and you tear the paper off. And so it's kind of like performance art, maybe. It's a uh, yeah. On the back is kind of fucked up because I didn't plan this out very well. And also, this isn't air dry clay. Michael sells like natural clay and says it's air dry, but it's not air dry. You are supposed to fire that stuff, but um, or else you can just like get it wet. So I have like this is also made from that. I don't have a kiln, so obviously this is just like so you can wet this and it'll just go back to being clay again. So if you ever see that at Michael's, dude, it's not air dry. Just telling you, how do you know? This is just a character, dude. Oh, this is confusing. Okay. So this is another like torn out sheet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is another torn out sheet. This is me. I'm not that cute, actually. I'm not pretty cute. <laughs> not that cute. Dislikes. I I don't want to read. So I'm barely an adult. I'm, I'm like 19. I'm 19. <laughs> Simone, barely an adult, exhausted, likes being asleep, avant-garde, fuckery, art toys, socks, attack the block, stop motion movies, Harvey Beaks. Harvey Beaks is a show everyone should check out even though it got canceled. So Nickelodeon doesn't respect the- <laughs> it doesn't- anyway, I, I don't know, I want to get into that, but um, I do like Harvey Beaks a lot. I think it's a charming little show. I would have liked to see it go on longer. Dislikes, calculus tests, uh, whitewashing, oil paint smell, 8 a.m. classes, not having enough money to blow on Voltron toys. This was back when I really liked Voltron. I don't really care about Voltron that much now. Here's Bunny again. He's sick. This little dude. And then here's he is again. He just is everywhere. And then this is some little baby guy. And then this is a torn out sheet. So there's, of course, a back, which I already showed you. I showed you that. But then on the side, there's this dude. Some more faces. And, oh, this isn't really. So this is some experiment notes. Mix glue and gesso, see what happens. Need paper for printer, dental floss. What do hearts look like? Which is when I was sculpting that heart thing. This is just a little drawing. Got this heart again. And then this is, so you can't see this actually, but there's like this, I put some glue on here. And you can like touch it and feel what's going on here. But you can't see it, so. Yeah, it's great for a video, small. Uh, fully visual medium. Oh, this is me describing myself. <laughs> Mechanical engineering student. This is my um, elevator speech, which they make you write so you can like introduce yourself in the elevator. I don't know anything about anything. This is my sister, drawn very badly. It's the furry dude. Guy. Hearts. Even though I am not full of love, sadly. Oop, I'm gonna have to rotate this. Get your film. Rotate. And then one more time. And let's go next page. 
here is some bunny guy. I might have drawn this very quickly when my when my cousins were around or something. And I think I was just goofing off with them. Little guy. This is when things start to go haywire. Is <laughs> so, oh, oh, let me show you this. This is by my cousin Penny. Penelope. Her name's Penelope. She is. I don't know how old she is, actually. <laughs> I'm a bad cousin. I don't know how old my cousins are. I just They're just, like, around, and I'm like, how old are you? And they're like, I'm five. And I'm like, I don't know that. You can't speak to know that. I barely know my own age. I pop, when, I, when I said I was, like, 19, I took me, like, five seconds to figure that out. <laughs> oh, here's the one I started, like, mixing paint with, like, sprinkles. No, not sprinkles. Glitter. <laughs> Like these like little glitter type things and like smearing it around. So then there's this on that. Then on the back of that, there's this drawing of this guy, which is upside down, but you know what? You'll figure it out. It kind of looks like me actually, but I'm, I'm not. Oh, this is my cousin. I think I drew her. My own other cousin. I think she's like 50. She's 15. She's four years younger than me. And that, yeah, see, I told you, everything starts to go to some craziness. I started doing this like. It's like collaging kind of thing so it's like this is like a poster from school and there's like tape and paint and gesso and the other side it's like paint and like more there's something under here tape dots yeah there's a poster under here you can't get to it because it's covered in paint and gesso and glue next page yeah. Um, yeah, so the, this goes on for a while. There's a lot of stuff like this. This is a Batman sticker. Yeah, I, I like these pages a lot, actually, just as spreads. I think they, like, are very appealing. Or not very appealing, but some of them are really cool. This one has sheep. These are, these are sheep. Swedish fish wrapper. Another candy wrapper. Oh, there's this, like, um trolley candy called um evil twins and it's like half of it is like a good twin which is a sweet candy and then the other half connected to it is like the sour candy but it's not really that sour